Hello there. So, it is just a continuation of a previous video yung about the preparation ng statement of cash flow. So, this is actually requested by many doon sa comment section ng no video on cash flows. Kasi nga, I have um, discussed only about the direct method. So, we will now focus on the indirect method of the preparation of our statement of cash flow. So, I hope that this video will help you a lot, especially during this time of online classes. So, first, please um, subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button if ever you'll find this video helpful. And you can also ask questions through the comments. And you can also message us in our page in Facebook and other social media accounts. So, I'll just drop the links in the description. So, enjoy! We'll start with discussing what is a cash flow statement aside from the information that we're given dun sa naunang video magdadagdag pa tayo para mas marami tayong malaman or mas maintindihan natin kung ano nga ba talaga ang cash flow statement or the statement of cash flows itong statement of cash flows ay nag-analyze ng changes o pagbabago doon sa ating cash and cash equivalents or the CCE during a period or doon sa operations ng ating um business or ng isang company. Yan. Cash and cash equivalents, ang laman niya ay yung cash in hand at saka demand deposits. So, together with short term, highly liquid ng mga investments, ibig sabihin ng highly liquid, madali siyang i-convert into cash. So, ang pinaka-liquid natin, syempre cash, kasi hindi mo na siya kailangang i-convert. So, they are readily convert to a known amount of cash and subject to an insignificant risk of changes in value. So, di ba meron tayong um, parts ng ating cash flow statement? We have the operating, investing, at saka financing activities. I'll be giving you clues para hindi na tayo ganun mahirapan pa rin sa pag-classify kung operating ba to, investing ba to, or financing ba to papasok. So, kapag operating, tandaan natin na ang transaction focused siya sa current asset at saka current liabilities. Kadalasan, yan nga yung pag-operating yung cash na na-receive from customers, yung um, cash na binayaran sa mga suppliers, ganyan. While investing, when we say invest, nakafocus naman siya sa non-current assets. So, kadalasan ito yung mga equipment na binibili natin or equipment na binibenta natin. While financing, no, we have non-current liabilities. Ito yung mga debt, long-term na utang, ganyan. And owner's equity, of course. Ito yung withdrawals at saka yung um, deposits ng ating owner. So, along with the financial ratio analysis, ang ating cash flow sta statement, no, mahalaga siya para sa mga finance managers. So, hindi na natin siya masyadong i-elaborate since I am using financial management book. Kaya, dun muna tayo sa basics. No, doon tayo kasi nakafocus sa accounting cycle. So, I have um, I have an example, a problem that will surely help you understand what I am discussing, but particularly will be doing the indirect method on the cash flow statement. So, just focus and listen very carefully to what we'll be discussing. Okay, we'll be starting with this Example problem. So we have a comparative balance sheet of the RXC Carp region, which is presented below. So, pag sinabi na comparative balance sheet, no, it is a comparison of transactions or the balances of accounts between um, periods or between operating years. In our example, we have 2013 and 2014 given. So, for our cash, we have 31,000 ng 2013 and then naging 40,000 ng 2014. With the cons receivable, 60,000 and then, and then naging 80,000 siya. Prepaid insurance, we have 17,000 to 22,000 pesos. We have lend from 40,000, it dropped down to 18,000 pesos. 
our equipment was 60,000 in 2013 and 2014 it was 70,000 while our accumulated depreciation was 13,000 to 20,000 which are both negative so our total assets ng 2013 was 195,000 and then 210,000 pesos ng 2014. For our liabilities and stockholders' equity, we have our accounts payable, 6,000 ng 2013 and then balance ng 2014 was 12,000 while our bonds payable, 19,000 ng 2013 and then 27,000 ng 2014. Our common stock was 115,000 ng 2013, then 140,000 ng 2014. Our retained earnings was 55,000 in the first period, then the other period was uh, 31,000 pesos. So, our total liabilities and equity, we have 195,000, then syempre dapat balance sila, then 210,000 ng 2014. For our additional information, which will be used for our um, statement of cash flows, no, for our adjustments, for the changes that we have to make. So we have first, the net loss for 2014 was 20,000 pesos. Then the net sales for 2014 was 250,000 pesos. Number two, we have cash dividends of 4,000 were declared and paid for in 2014. Then, number three, the land was sold for cash at a loss of 10,000 pesos. And this was the only land transaction during the year. And then, we have equipment with a cost of 15,000 pesos and accumulated depreciation of 10,000 was sold for 5,000 pesos cash. Then, number five, we have bonds worth 12,000 pesos were retired during the year carrying or having a book value ayun yung ni-retire siya at carrying or book value then equipment was acquired for a common stock the fair market value of the stock at the time of the exchange was 25,000 pesos so and so we have to do the first things first start tayo with checking the changes of the balances in our um, cash accounts or yung mga accounts na naa-affect ng changes in cash. So we have um, cash mainly, we have 31,000 ng 2013 tapos 40,000 siya ng 2014 meaning it increased by 9,000 pesos during the period. So, so on and so forth, we have accounts receivable. It has increased 20,000 pesos. Our prepaid insurance, nag-increase din siya ng 5,000 pesos. Our land, nag-decrease ng 22,000 pesos. Our equipment, it has increased by 10,000 pesos. Our accumulated depreciation, it has increased by 7,000 pesos. So, negative. Then, we have our accounts payable. Nag-increase siya ng 6,000 pesos. Our bonds payable, 8,000 pesos. Common stock, 25,000 pesos. And our retained earnings by 24,000 pesos. And then we'll be analyzing kung um, saan ba sila included sa operating ba, sa investing ba, or financing activities. Plus, ito pang mga additional information na binigay kanina. So, Kailangan nating i-analyze kung saan natin sila ilalagay.